Hey guys, it's Tiffany with Modern Mascara, and guess what? We're in another collab, and it is Air Fryer August 23. Yep, Air Fryer August. <laughs> I can't talk. Air Fryer August 23, which is hosted by Angela, the Inquisitive Farm Wife, and uh, she is uh, such a sweet lady. Go check out her channel. I, I really like Angela a lot. Um. But every Friday in August, there has been several uh, content creators that have dropped air fryer videos. So if you have not seen any of them and are just hearing about this, you can actually go to Angela's channel. Make sure you check it out. Subscribe. Like I said, very, very good content. Great. Very sweet lady. I really like Angela a lot. I'll say that again. I just like the way she is on her videos. Um... So anyways, if you go to her channel, you go to the playlist section, all right? Click on the playlist. You're going to see Air Fryer August 23 playlist. And all you got to do is click on that. And they will play back to back to back. Leave a legit comment on them, guys, because she is doing a drawing on September the 1st. I believe it is at... It is at... Uh, that's right. It's 6 p.m. Central Standard Time and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you want to go back and watch the videos and leave a, leave a comment. Content creators need comments. We need feedback. If you don't like it, tell them. Hey, you got a suggestion, tell them. If you love it, love it. If you like it, subscribe. Check out everything else. You never know who you're going to meet whenever you're watching videos, especially in a collab. Because it's the same theme, but different varieties. All right, so every Friday they're dropping three, or, and she's also dropping a video every Friday. Now, guess what? If you have an air fryer and you have a favorite recipe, you can be involved in the collab too because Angela is, it is an open collab. All you have to do is put in the title, hashtag air, air fryer, bleh, I can't talk. All you have to do <laughs> in the title is put hashtag oh my gosh hashtag air fryer august and i've said it twice in here already okay so that comes with h for getting stuff all right so has all you gotta do is hashtag air fryer august and then do your little at symbol the inquisitive farm wife angela will get the notification and she'll drop your video in the playlist okay super simple so, here's what we got going on. I could not figure out what to do. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because I'm off grid. And air fryers pull a lot of juice when you use them. When I say juice, power. So, when you're basing everything off the sun, you have to be wise with what you do. So, I've been trying to find air fryer video or videos with, excuse me, recipes with very minimal time on them. So we have a couple of choices here, y'all. And I have everything for every choice. I just can't make up my mind what to do. All right. Let me show you what I got. And then we'll make a decision. I do, I do want, I did want to do a stromboli because that's one of my favorite things. I love any type of pizza. But I haven't, everything for that is in the refrigerator. But out here, I thought about doing a Southwestern egg roll. Because that's something I could prepare a lot of and freeze what I can send home with Mr. C and he can put in the oven. And, you know, air fry a couple for me. That way, you know, it's not a big, huge meal uh, that I'm not going to be able to eat. Um, so, right here, this is what I got right here. I got Southwestern egg roll stuff right here. Then, I was like... Man, I love crab ragoons. And up here in the mountains, I've only seen one Chinese restaurant up here. And, uh, yeah, that's not some place we go to all the time. Or I haven't been to a Chinese restaurant since I've been up here. And I love crab ragoons, so, boom. I got the stuff right here to do that. Right here behind my sink. Then I thought about doing sliders. Just to see a quick sandwich in the air fryer. So, and I have a chicken breast in here I thought about stuffing. So, guess what? I'm not sure what's going to happen here. So, when we get to the next segment, you'll find out it could be three or four things. 
if the sun's good and if not it may be one thing that's very minimal on time and i know that the egg rolls take six minutes on one side and two minutes on the other and that's a short amount of time with the chicken you're talking about 20 minutes so let's see what happens okay guys so i think the first thing i'm gonna start off with since i can put the majority of these in the freezer is the southwestern egg rolls plus they're very limited on time on the uh air fryer uh, so let me turn this down just right here so in the southwestern egg rolls let me tell you what i was in it and i'm going to show you um so you've got uh cooked chicken now most of y'all can your own chicken so this is what i'm using is canned chicken um you have uh spinach and i'm using a mix of spinach and kale um you have let's see you have garlic right here you have got onion powder right here you have got pickled jalapenos, which I think that I'm going to put some fresh in there too. So we'll see about that. Just because I like the fresh. I love the pickled, but I like the fresh as well. The other thing you've got is um, red bell peppers, which I've already done. And green onions. And I put a purple onion in it. And uh, salt, pepper, and chili powder. And I have not shredded up my Monterey Jack cheese yet um, because I'm going to do a mix of Monterey Jack and uh, Pepper Jack cheese in it uh, just so all the flavors get together um, as far as Southwestern. Um, also, you need chili powder and cumin. I can't remember if I said chili powder to begin with. Um, the other ingredient that uh, goes in there is corn. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest with you, this is not Mr. C's favorite. So, I am going to make this corn off to the side first. I'm just, this is fresh corn that I got from a local market up here. And I sh took all the, the yeah, I took all the kernels off and put them in the freezer in little bitty packets for me. Because, like I said, Mr. C will eat corn if it is a must and the last thing on earth. But it is not his favorite. So, I'm going to do my own with the corn, and his are just going to have the black beans in them. Uh, and you do need black beans. And uh, thank God Ginger had black beans, because I did not have any canned up, and I couldn't believe it. Uh, so those are all the ingredients, and I'll put it down in the bottom, because I'm sure I missed something. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is take my corn in my pan right here, and I'm just going to get it, you know, fried up. That way, it's off to the side, and um, it doesn't go to Mr. C's Southwestern Egg Rolls. So, I'm going to do that, and I will be back, and we'll finish the recipe and mix everything together. All right? Okay, guys. I got my corn done. It is right here on the side. I went ahead and took my beans right here. That's such a bad position for the camera, but that's all I got. So I took my beans and I rinsed them off and I know the light's kicking from here. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, but I took my black beans and I rinsed them off real good because I just want the beans and not the juice in there. Alright. So my next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to saute my onions, my red bell peppers, and my spinach together. And then I'm going to add in my chopped up. I just use the pickled jalapenos because they're good and spicy. I, sometimes you get them and, and they're not spicy and I need a little kick. And I'm going to, if I need any liquid, I'm going to use the juice out of here to help everything get sauteed real well. So I'm going to get that done in the cast iron can, pan. Y'all know how to do this. Don't need to see it. So I'm going to get this done real quick and then I'll bring you back when we put everything together and make the egg rolls okay okay guys so i went ahead and i did half monterey jack cheese half pepper jack cheese 
and I threw in just a little bit of white sharp cheddar that I had left over because I was like, what the heck, let's use it up, get it out of the refrigerator so it gives me more space. All right, so this is mine, and I did put the corn in it, and Mr. C's is still in here with no corn. So I've got these little glass things ready because when I do Mr. C's, I'm just going to put them in here and flash freeze them so that he can take them home and cook them in his little, uh, he's got a little mini uh, air fryer oven at, at the old place. So this is how we're going to do this. And I'm going to put y'all down on the board right, right here. And hopefully y'all can see. Got my wonton, not wonton, I was thinking about the other. Uh, egg roll wrapper right here. And I'm going to lay it triangle like a diamond. Like a diamond in the sky. Alright, so I'm not really sure how much of this to put in here because I don't want it to overflow. So I'm just going to start out with about that much. Just like a tablespoon, I guess. But I want it to have filling in it, so let me add a little more. Yeah, let's see how this is going to wrap up. Alright, now you know that when you're doing egg roll wrappers, you have to wet the piece, the um, edges of it so that it'll seal up, right? Well... I am going to use my pickled jalapeno juice to do that. So I am just going to wet my edges just like so with my pickled jalapeno juice and let it be my binder. So just like that. Okay. Whoop, don't, don't fall. We're going to pick this side up right here. Actually, I'm going to pull this down just. And then we're just going to pick this up. That's the reason why you need a binder, the water, because there's powder on these. So we're just going to take it and bring it almost all the way over like this. And then I'm going to bring up my edges just like I'm folding up an envelope. which I guess it could put more filling in, but I'll do that on the next one because I wasn't for sure. And then you got your envelope and we're just going to roll it on up and make some little mini egg rolls just like that. All right. So I'm going to finish mine and go ahead and do Mr. C's while y'all take a quick break and then we'll put them in the air fryer. They're not touching each other. All right. And luckily, we got some good sun right at the moment. So, I am going to... I can't zoom y'all in, y'all. This is like as close as you're going to get. I'm going to hit the air fryer button here. I'm going to leave it on 400 because it did made it a whole lot crispier on 400. And I'm going to do the time down to five minutes. There we go. And hit start. Oh, I just hit power off. Whoops, let's try that again. Again, hit air fryer, leave it on 400. Turn the time down to five minutes. Do, 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 do. Okay, and hit start this time, the flashing button. So we're going to let those cook for five minutes on this side, and then I'm going to flip them and do them another five minutes. Now, give me a second. I'm going to bring back the stuff I'm going to make the dip with while these are doing that, okay? I'll be right back. I got a little bit because I want them to be crispy. All right? So, we're going to turn them back on. Air fry 400. Knock it back down. Two, five minutes. Hit start. Okay, now, let's talk about this dip that I think I'm going to make. If it tastes terrible, we'll just make some regular ranch dip. Alright. 
So inside these um, containers of pickled jalapenos, there's carrots and onions in there as well, just so you know. So what I've got in here is the carrots and onions. Wow, it's hard to see. Let me see. Okay. Carrots and onions out of that jar. Okay. And I'm going to start off with half of a quarter of a cream cheese because I don't want to make a lot if it tastes disgusting. But we're going to try to keep the flavors rolling. All right, so that's been softened right there. Okay, see, it's pretty soft. In there, just like so, and I'm just going to kind of mush it up a little bit because I'm going to use when the air fryer gets done, I'm going to use the emulsion blender. But, can't use a lot of stuff at one time. Alright, so then I took two and a half jalapenos. Here's the other one. Right here. And it's gone. So I'm going to add those in there. my juice off to the side for right now because I don't know if I'm going to need it or not. Okay. Oh, that was hot. Okay. So, I am going to put just a little bit well, probably the rest of the sour cream in there will be okay because it needs to be used. All right. So we've got jalapenos, the carrots and onions in here, a little bit, a fourth of a, I don't know, maybe just half of a 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 half of the cream cheese and sour cream and the jalapenos down at the bottom. So we are going to put, not that way, some ranch powder in here, and hopefully this is not salty. And with the chili powder, I'm just putting just a, just a, just a one of those, just a, just a little, okay, see, just a little bit. And to keep the flavors rolling, we're just going to put just a, I don't want too much of this cumin. So I'm just doing just that much. Because cumin can be, or cumino, can be very, very overwhelming if you use a little bit too much. Alright, so we have no more time left on our air fryer. And let me check it one more time. Crispy. Oh, that looks so much better. Look. See that? A tap a tap. Alright. So let me get these out of here. Oh yeah. That looks fantastic. Okay. Down on the board we go. Alright. And these boogers are still hot. Very hot. Hot. Okay. Now, I'm actually going to go grab some. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, look at this. I got this from Jesse and Lisa, so we're going to use it to um, cut up in the, uh... oh, Lord, y'all got sauce on y'all on the camera. Whoops. Ay, ay, ay. 
Okay. Anyways, this is a supposed to be a watermelon knife, but I'm going to use it for something totally different and cut my burrito. But I don't know if y'all can see that, but check that out. Can y'all see that? It says Mud and Mascara Homestead. Isn't that awesome? And then on the back, it's got Jesse and Lisa. Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse and Lisa 2023. So cool. All right. And I'm wearing my Gillen Farms hat and t-shirt. They're probably going to be like, Tiffany, quit slapping that sour cream everywhere. All right. Let's cut this open and take a look at it. So I'm going to cut it. Oh, that cuts really good. Mm, yeah, it does. All right, look, guys. Look at that. Yum, yum. Y'all see the steam coming off of it? Holy shikes, it's going to be hot. Okay. Oh, my goodness, that's going to be hot. But. At least it's crunchy. All right, so let's try to get this a taste test without burning and sending every uh, taste bud on my tongue. It's hot. All right, so here's my ranch dip in my Jello cup, and uh, you can just make regular ranch dip. You don't have to do like I do. I just like to ride flavors through the whole thing okay and uh so it went straight all these flavors went straight down into the ranch dip all right hot. I mean, hot. Mmm. Hey, and you know what? You can literally taste a jalapeno in it everywhere. But I'll be honest with you, there's no, no heat. Like, I can eat a jalapeno raw. They're good. But, um, no heat back there. You can just taste the flavor of it. And what's really good is the vinegar that they're pickled in makes it taste amazing too. All right, let's go in for a number two. Look, the only thing I can say about that bite was it was not very crunchy. So let's try another one. Mmm. My eyes are about to water. That is smoking hot on the inside, so make sure you let yours cool off. <clears throat> that was pretty good. So, and we got it in the nick of time. If you look outside, there's not much sun going on today. So, that is the one I'm going to turn in. If I do another air fryer and it's blazing sun, I'll just tag uh, Angela in it and show you because I really want to make a Stromboli in it because um, I love Strombolis and so does Mr. C. All right, guys, make sure you go back. Remember what I said? Go back on the playlist and check out everybody's, um, you know, videos that they put out. There's been some potato taco boats. Uh, there was some cookies uh bacon crackers i mean there's just been all kinds of stuff out there and you might get a neat a neat idea but angela i just want to tell you how much i love your channel i love you i think you're just a sweetheart and i really really appreciate you inviting me to the collab it's so much fun to do collabs because you get to see what everybody else does but anyways guys go out there and leave a comment hey if you've got an air fryer put out a video super simple okay remember 
check out the inquisitive farm life watch the playlist leave a comment and if you got an air fryer do a video all right guys i'll see you all in the next video love you bye